Hello my lovely viewers and my dear students and welcome back to my channel Mathematics Made Easy. Today's video is going to be in continuation with our last video where we did equations of parabolas part 1 and today in the session we are going to take it forward from where we left and this is going to be part 2 of the video on parabolas. Again very important video which will help you to find the intersection of parabolas with other lines and linear curves. So before we move on, let me give you a quick reminder to like, share and subscribe to my channel if you watch my videos and find them useful. So in the session today, our learning objective would be to find the intersection points of linear and quadratic functions. And in order to do that, we will understand how the graphical and algebraic methods can help you. These are the two different kinds of methods that we'll be learning to find the intersection point of parabola with line. So stay tuned to my channel and let's get on to see how we do that. So this is the first question that we'll be looking at and here you need to find the point of intersection between the quadratic function. So as you can see, this is the quadratic function. Let me highlight for you y equal to 2 to 2 multiplied with x square. So because the degree, the maximum power is 2. So this is a quadratic function. The second equation which is given here is a linear function so definitely its graph will be a line in this question you need to do the graph of both of them and then compare the two graphs how they are going to be looking and what will be their intersection point so we are going to be doing two methods the first one will be graphical so now i will take you to desmos and show you how to do the graph and then find the intersection point okay so let's see how we do the graph using Desmos graphing calculator. So this is the page. I will put the link in the description box for the Desmos graphing calculator. You have to put in the two equations here. Just type it. You may use the keypad of Desmos or your own laptop or keypad as well. So let's go and type the equation. So y equal to 2 times x square. That's the first one. So let's do so I'm doing it from Desmos here. So y is equal to 2x to the power 2. Okay, so that's your parabola. In seconds, you've got this red one. It's an upward parabola with a vertex at origin. The second one is the linear graph of the line y equal to 4x minus 2. So let's do it also. So y equal to 4x and then I think minus 2, yes. So minus, so we go to the negative sign and 2. So I hope you all can see now I'm going to close the keypad, the red parabola upward and the green line. So let's zoom it a little bit further and then we'll mark the points of intersection. So this is the one point of intersection that you see here. And there is seems to be just one point of intersection, yes. So yes, you can click here and 1 comma 2 is the um, point where the two curves, the parabola and the straight line are meeting. Okay, so let's also solve the same question with the algebraic method. So the algebraic method of finding the intersection of the points of parabola and line. So first you write the equation of parabola and the equation of the line. So you can number them. This one is degree 2, so that's why it's a parabola. This one is degree 1, so that's why it's a linear function or the graph will be a straight line. So the method that we'll be using here to find the intersection points is substitution. So I'm going to substitute in place of y, 4x minus 2 in the first equation. Also, I can do another thing because both are equal to y. The left hand side of equation 1 and 2 is same. So the right hand side will also be same. So let's do that. So 2x square is equal to 4x minus 2. Now this is a quadratic equation and its roots will give you the intersection points. So let's take everything on one side. Now what I've got is a quadratic equation. It has a common factor of 2, so we can divide by 2 to remove. So it is x squared minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Now I can write using algebra this value as x minus 1 whole square. So as you see, there are repeated roots. x is 1, 
and x is 1 again because the degree is 2. So these have repeated roots. And when x is 1, how much is your y? Let's substitute in equation 1. 2 times 1 square, which is 2. So the intersection point is repeated 1, 2, 1, 2. Same answer you had got from the graph for the intersection point. But here we just have used the algebraic method of substitution. And the identity that I used in this step is a minus b whole square. So that was a square minus 2ab plus b square. So even whichever method you find useful, easy for you, you can use that. Both will give you the same solution. If the name of any method is given in the question, you are going to be using only that method. Okay, this is another question. Multiple choice. There are four options. I want you to pick up the correct one and find the point of intersection between the quadratic equation or the quadratic function. This one is your parabola. This one is your straight line. Now, if you do the graphical method also, it will give you quick answers. But since here the name of the method is not used, any method that you find useful is can be used here. Now, we read the instruction of the question. If there are no points of intersection, select no intersection point. So that can also be the case that the two graphs the parabola and the line do not meet at all. They do not intersect. So in that case, you will mark A as the answer. So in this question, if you do the graph on decimals, within seconds, you'll get to know that the two lines, the two curves are not meeting at all. So the answer is A. I hope you found this short video on intersection of parabola and linear curve useful. If you like the video, don't forget to share, subscribe and comment in the chat below. Bye, girls.